I've hit the mother load. Welcome Retro Chasers, Game Boy Zero. It's, uh, it's good to be back after a, a long month. Um, the account that I had before was deleted, unfortunately. The, the email that was associated with the account got deleted, which means everything is gone. It was growing a healthy 50 subscribers a day about, and um, it was just fun. It was just fun sharing stuff with all uh, the subs, but you know, you, uh, you start from the bottom and, and just move on up. I mean, it's just a YouTube channel, right? So it's good to be back with a new video. And I have a great story. I mean, this story is outstanding. Um, I keep asking a bunch of my friends about, you know, what I've received recently and they are all saying that it's unheard of. So, uh, so I'm going to just share the story with you. So I have a dentist a pediatric dentist that I take my children to you know when we went there we uh, we saw this awesome Sega Genesis kiosk like the old ones that you would see when you walked into a Toys R Us in the 90s it was a dated kiosk it needed love and but it looked amazing so while the kids were getting checked I asked the doctor what are you what are you doing with the kiosk are you looking to sell it are you looking to get rid of it and he just looked at me and said mm, I don't really know, but let me take your number down and I will get back to you and let you know. That usually means you're never gonna hear from them again. So I just kind of, you know, said okay and gave him my number and, and whatever. Eight months passed by and my wife gives me a call and says the pediatric dentist gave a call and they want you to pick up the Sega kiosk. And I'm thinking to myself, what? Well, how much do they want for it? Zero, zero dollars. So I'm like, yeah, I go grab a, a truck and I, I head on over and I pick up this kiosk with a buddy of mine and it's in amazing shape, really. I mean, there's just little things uh, that needed some care. They said the TV did not work. Well, I checked that out and the TV works very well. Actually, the entire console just works very well. Even the six game changer in it works really well. Very dusty, very dusty. As I'm driving home and taking it home and just, just gonna get ready to situate it and clean it up, they give me another call. And I'm like, yeah, and they go, hey, we've got three more things that are kind of like the thing that you picked up. Mind you, these are nurses that don't know what it is. They don't care what it is. To them, it's junk. And to me, I'm like, yeah, it's junk. I'm, o I'm okay with that. I'm okay with you thinking it's junk. I think it's junk too. I go back and I pick up two more Sega consoles and three Vectrex, I think that's what it's called, systems, which are basically consoles from 1982. I didn't notice until I called my buddy J-Bam. I'll have his link in the description below. And he basically told me what it was. I opened it up and it's just so amazing. I mean, this is before my time. So I, it was really cool to get a history lesson of what this thing was. Apparently there's a cartridge that holds all these games and you would put overlays on it. It's an amazing console. I can't even imagine on my best day finding such a treasure box full of awesome retro gaming goodness. There's no way, and then for free, I am in absolute awe. So yeah, that is my story. I mean, there's no other way to put it. I'm going to clean these guys up. We'll see what I do with this kiosk. I'm gonna clean it up and, and see what I could do, but I, I just can't get rid of it. I, I don't I don't think I can. It's such such an amazing story behind it. So uh well let me know what you think of this video. It feels really good to be back. I'm sorry I've been gone for so long. I mean, there's no one to apologize to. I only have like 60 subscribers at this point. But if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Share this video with someone, post it on a Facebook nostalgia page. I don't know, help me out. I would love uh, to get back on the same momentum that I was before. 
Uh, regardless, I do this because I love it and I want to just share more stuff with you guys. Uh, with that said, hit that subscribe button uh, and I'll see you. I'll see you next time. Peace.